Okay, so let's look at a few selected problems here. This is a combustion problem. We have a hydrocarbon, C3H8, this would be the, the propane, if you happen to have a propane grill, a hydrocarbon plus oxygen, when it's combusted, when it catches on fire. Products are always going to be CO2, carbon dioxide, and H2O water. So you see, all these are combustion problems. They all make CO2 and H2O. The difference is going to be the ratio. So the logic here is that this oxygen, we want to save this for last. So let's start maybe with the carbon. You see that all the carbon in C3H8 is going to end up as CO2. So we have three carbons in the C3 on the left, and to get three carbons on the right, we're going to put a three in front of the CO2. So we have three CO2s and a C3H8. We're kind of assuming that this is a one in front of the CH8, C3H8, except of course we don't, we don't write ones in chemistry for the ratio in a reaction. So next, let's look at the hydrogen. You'll notice that all the hydrogen from C3H8 ends up in H2O. So there's, there's two hydrogens per oxygen. So our logic is going to be divide by two. We take eight divided by two, and we'll stick a four in front of H2O. So that big number times little number, four times two, gives us eight hydrogens on the right. That matches our eight hydrogens on the left. And now we have one number to deal with. We got to figure out how many oxygens. And for that, we've got to count the O atoms on the right-hand side. So CO2, big number times little number, we have three times two is six. And in water, we have four O's. You might think of this as four times one because there's, there's one oxygen in H2O. Again, we don't, we don't write the ones in chemical formula. So we have four. So we're going to add those two numbers together. We have six oxygens plus four oxygens is 10 O atoms. And you'll notice that 10 is an even number. So there's a question about whether this is a, quote, even oxygen or odd oxygen reaction. It's an even oxygen because we find 10, an even number of oxygen atoms on the right. Now, we're not interested in oxygen atoms. We're interested in how many O2s do we need. So 5 times 2 is 10. If we stick a 5 in front of the oxygen, we're going to be done. Again, 5 times 2 would be 10. And now we have 10 oxygens left, 10 oxygens right. And this equation is balanced. If you think in terms of this as a ratio, which I think is a great way to think of it, you'll notice that the ratio is 1 to 5 to 3 to 4. 1 to 5 to 3 to 4, C3H8 to O2 to CO2 to H2O. Let's look at another one, CH4. This is methane, natural gas. You see all the carbon is going to end up here. And so we don't need to do anything. One CH4, one CO2. I'm just not going to write a number. So the ratio is going to be one to something to one to something. And now let's look at the hydrogen. There's four hydrogens left. There's two hydrogens per oxygen. So we need to stick a two in front of the H2O. So the ratio is 1 to something to 1 to 2, and always saving that oxygen for last. The logic there is you note the oxygen ends up in, in not one but two places, and you'd never be able to guess how the oxygen is, is going to split. So if you start with that oxygen, you're going to have a really bad time with this problem. Now we're going to count oxygens. There's two oxygens in CO2, and we need to add to that we have two waters, so that's two more oxygen. So again, we so now we have four O atoms. And again, four is an even number. And that's what we mean by this is an even oxygen problem because there's, there, there's four oxygens on the right. So we need to get not the O's, not four O's, but how many O2s is that? And two times two would be four. So our ratio is going to be one to two to one to two. So notice the first problem we did was C3H8. 
Let's look at let's look at C three eight six down here at the bottom, and what a difference two hydrogens is going to make. So again, all the carbons going to go here. We have three of them. All the hydrogens going to go here. Three times two is six, so we have three carbon dioxides, three waters, and now let's count the oxygens. We have three times two is six. And now we have three times one is three. So we're gonna add those two numbers together. Six plus three is nine O atoms. And this is now an odd number. So this is what we mean by, it's a quote, odd oxygen problem. But we don't want nine oxygen atoms, we want O2. So the trick here is going to be to write nine halves. You can convert it to four and a half or 4.5, but save yourself some grief, make it nine halves. The logic there is that nine halves times two, you got nine divided by two times two, the twos cancel out, so that gives us nine. So we got nine oxygens left, nine oxygens right. We got the right ratio, but we can't have a fraction. We need to have whole numbers. So our logic is going to be to multiply both sides of the equation by two. And then I'm just going to have to write it out. I'm going to do it up here where I have a little bit more space. We, we had a one. We didn't do anything for C386. Multiplying that by two, we get two C386s plus nine halves oxygen. Again, nine halves times two is going to give us back that nine. So plus nine oxygens yields three, two, three CO2s we have. We got to multiply that by two to six CO2s, and we have three H2Os. We're going to multiply that by two and get six H2Os. So you notice that there's an extra step, and you basically just have to write down the equation again to get this one to work.